Welcome to this video. I don't know. I'm just feeling really energetic today. Clearly, I'm in my EG room. <gasps> wow! I've got Nikki here with me because she's my model. And I just wanted to show you something that I've been doing lately, guys. Um, I've been taking my old jewelry, for instance, this necklace that I took the class off. Um, I take my old jewelry and I've been reusing them, remaking them into doll size jewelry. So I've got a couple of examples here. First, I've got Jade's necklace, not this one, this one. I need to flip it, I think, because it's not completely right. But I made this necklace with this bear on it. I took a charm off an old necklace of mine. Found this old chain, clasped them together, and boom, got a gothic teddy bear. I got another one. I've had this locket for forever in a bin of AG jewelry, and it didn't have a chain. So I found a gold chain of mine, um, sized it, hooked the lock it on and voila now Rebecca has a locket I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that okay so things you need a doll you can do this for Barbies 18 inch dolls etc etc um so far I've done them for 18 inch Here's another one I have made. I haven't put it on anyone yet, but I made this for Caroline. Looks like a Tiffany heart, doesn't it? Took a heart off an old bracelet I never use. Got a chain. Got a clasp. Boom. Tiffany necklace. You can make stuff like this and more for your dolls. Just. Make sure that if you're using anybody else's things, make sure you have permission. This is an old chain. I'm currently in the middle of making this bracelet that, whoops, it's upside down. This bracelet that was human sized into a doll sized bracelet. And I thought, hey, why not make this into a video? So, what I've been using to do this are needle nose pliers. Um you should probably you would probably have them in your dad's toolbox. They're very easy to find also. You can get them at Walmart. There's just regular needle nose pliers. They also have them for jewelry making, but I have the regular ones because that's what's around my house. Wire cutters, regular wire cutters from toolbox in your garage. Make sure you ask parents permission before doing this because these are adult tools. And I don't want you getting in trouble or getting hurt. Jewelry. Obviously, you won't be able to use this jewelry again unless you take apart what you made and reassemble it. And I'm warning you, there is a chance that you can break things. See, I accidentally broke this clasp. It's never to be used again. So... That's where this necklace came in. I need a new clasp. Um, so yeah, repurposing your jewelry. You've got your jewelry and your um, pliers. And actually, where was I? Oh yeah. I just put this bracelet on Nikki and I had taken two little pieces of the chain, two little links, off, and it was too short. So now I'm just adding one on, and that should do the trick. And I thought I'd show you how I did it. So, I always keep the pieces of the necklace or bracelet nearby, the links that you take off, because you never know when you're going to need them. Here's one of the links from the bracelet. very simple. You just use your fingers to open 
a little hole. Oh my god, you can totally see it on my shirt. Um, <laughs> use the fi your fingers to open up a little spot. Use that open spot to open. And then use your little tweezers. I mean, not tweezers. Be on those pliers to push. The two open pieces together so that there is no more opening. And ta da! Since this particular bracelet that I'm doing has two chains, two chains, two links, two chains, whatever. Um, which one did I do two on? Okay, this one I did not do yet. There we go. Oh, wait, did I just grab the wrong one? Yes, I did. Grab the right, wait a minute. I'm super confused right now. Which one did I do and which one did I not do? This is just a really confusing bracelet, guys, but... There. This is the one I did not do. Grab another link. Use your fingers to open it up. This one's already opened up, so... A little hole. And you just slip it so that the link, the hole, the, the link, the hole, ah, the link, the hole goes through the, I can't even say it. The link goes through the opening, and then you use your little pliers to tweeze. It's like very hard to do because it's microscopic and your fingers are kind of in the way. Yeah. And then. Oh, wrong thing. I took the wire cutters by mistake. Oops. That would have been really upsetting. All right. Then. You take your little piece with your clasp. You make sure that it's facing the right direction. Because you really don't want to be like trying to clasp it and realize it's backwards. It's a really easy fix, but I've really only been experimenting with this for a few days. Sorry if you hear the voices in the background, guys. It's my family. That was my brother. Unfortunately, you had to hear that. Uh, um, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, make sure it's on the way you want it. Yes, it's on the way I want it, so... Then you just use the pliers to push the open openings together, and voila. Clap. And now we use our little fellow contestant, Bee, Nikki. And we're going to, like, bracelet is so confusing. Try to put it on her. Yay! Let's see if it's a good fit. Oh my gosh, it's nine minutes. Most of that was spent rambling. Sorry, guys. Uh oh. Really? Is this really going to end up being this way? Because I'm going to be really depressed if this is too short and then two is too long. That would be really depressing. I'd be like, really? This is being a pain in the butt to be put on. Not a good sign. Wait, there's a great turn. 
Don't get there. No, 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 no. Wait. Can I do it? Can I? Please? Oh my god, I did it! Yay! Oh my god, that was so difficult. And then you try it on and you can show you like the way it fits. See how it's a little loose? I don't like that, but I can't go any tighter because then I won't be able to fit it on her wrist. So, I have another choice here, but it's not falling off, which is a good thing. It'll just be, hey, it'll be like a charm bracelet. It's the way you wanted it. And it's just gonna, you're just gonna have to turn it. You're gonna have to deal with it. But yeah. The reason this bracelet is so special. Come on. It's because it opens up and you can store stuff inside. It's, you can store teeny tiny stuff. Yes, but I still think it's really awesome. Because it's like, oh cool, your bracelet's really adorable. This is Dancer. I thought this would be good for Isabel or Caroline because they're all... Pretty princesses, and then you just open it up and you can store something inside. So it's great for bombshells. So, yeah, bracelet. I'm so happy I did it. Yay! Now I just have to put it on the right person. Oh. Anyway, guys, that was a quick tutorial on how to recycle your necklaces and bracelets and. Excuse me, stuff you're not using. So, ow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've been doing the past few days when I haven't been sick and sleeping. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.